Hey, what's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here. November 13th, 2017, just about 3 p.m. here on the West Coast. And a few hours ago, California had an earthquake, uh, 4.6 on the Richter scale. Uh, not a huge quake, but uh, definitely getting up there around the five point range. And this earthquake struck directly on the San Andreas fault zone system, um, which is capable of no doubt producing much larger earthquakes. Uh, you can see it over here on uh, a couple maps I have pulled up there, just near Salinas. This is also just south of Hollister. Uh, you'll be able to see the Hollister region here. Once once I zoom in a little bit further, <clears throat> there's the uh, town of Hollister. And here is the 4.7 and also a couple aftershocks in the upper 2 range uh, occurring really uh, close within that epicenter range there. Uh, you can see it just just off to the west of the San Andreas fault zone sy fault zone system, and uh, <clears throat> you can see right here. I'll pull it up. San Andreas. Now they call this the creeping section. Okay, now this is like uh, a section of the fault zone that uh, continuously has uh, micro earthquakes or small earthquakes, as these two plates. Uh, the Pacific Plate, or the uh, North American Plate over here, uh, runs along with the uh, Pacific Plate, and they slide past each other, uh, but sometimes get locked, um, as we've seen bigger earthquakes up north here on the northern end near San Francisco, and uh, and up further, and also down to the south. So, a uh, little bit of activity. You know, 4.7 is a pretty good sized earthquake uh, in my book. I've felt one of those before, and it's uh, it's enough to shake you up a little bit. Quite a few people felt it. Um, as the earthquake came into the area, uh, mostly near Hollister, but also other areas uh, in that region as well. I'm going to take you over here and show you the waveforms first. I did not see this come in to the live earthquake data program that I run. Unfortunately, that would have been cool to witness. Um, but here you can see it on numerous stations right there. Uh, the black, dark um, register on the seismograph stations there indicating that earthquake looks to me like it was pretty well drawn out um, and not a not a jolt necessarily judging by the the way these things are looking I, I'm not seeing any jolt type motion but basically uh, just a good solid smooth earthquake um, you know no no jolt probably if anything this felt kind of like a rolling motion uh, if, if you did feel that earthquake uh, let me know what you felt uh, but just judging off these seismographs here I'm say I'm stating that uh, these are just it was probably a rolling type earthquake there at least uh, from the looks of it here but um the did you feel it reports definitely lit up um, afterwards you can see quite a few people feeling that earthquake uh, and not necessarily a super strong quake, but uh, definitely some light shaking there being reported throughout the area. Mostly near Hollister, you can see 58 people, if not more. Salinas, quite a few people reporting that as well. Uh, we can go see all, all the responses and see how far this thing uh, may have been felt. Uh, of course, as you get further away, less people are going to feel it. But, uh, you know, up to 150 kilometers there, people still feeling that earthquake there. And uh, even, you know, I'm not for sure how these guys felt it up in Solano Beach or down in Solano Beach and uh, Tule Lake, California, which is way north, uh, but uh, 500 kilometers away. I doubt if these guys felt it. Uh, maybe some type of error. But uh, definitely quite a few people felt it within the uh, 150 kilometer range there. As you can see in San Francisco, and also um, Berkeley, California region. Hollister looks like it was about 20, uh, 25 kilometers away there to the north of it. But uh, interesting activity. We're keeping an eye on it. Uh, as always, I keep stations pulled up within that region, very close to that region. A uh, little bit of micro activity up near Willits, California. That's in the coastal range of Northern California near Book. Brick Trails, California. So definitely increased activity on the west coast, a sign that uh, some pressure is building out here. 
as we see the pressure releasing it's very possible uh, it could be building up in some other spots as well there this was a typical earthquake there on the San Andreas fault zone system at 3.8 miles below the surface of the earth um, that's typical of what we see along that fracture but other than that the uh, rest of the globe looks fairly uneventful um, aside from those larger earthquakes that we've seen over the past day or so I can take you back and show you guys that once again there where they had that 7.3 over in Iran and also a pretty good size earthquake I uh, didn't get to mention last night 6.5 near Costa Rica region uh, that was this earthquake right here uh, which is now a red ring indicating that it's an older earthquake but uh, and that happened yesterday but uh, you know some some larger scale activity occurring out there and uh, when you when you see this type of activity it's always good to be aware um, of you know things that are going on out there quite a few aftershocks in the Iran region following that 7.3 earthquake there quite a bit um, of course that's uh, very typical I mean if we didn't see any kind of aftershock activity I would be concerned but uh, it's definitely on a the earth is moving you know you can see large ones on this part of the globe right there and then some now activity in west on the uh, western coast there of the United States with that 4.6 there so round and round she goes you know where the next earthquake strikes well who really knows I mean it's just it's pretty crazy be prepared guys that's it for today um, hopefully unless we have some more activity I'm gonna try to jump in here guys and do some more uh, daily activity earthquake video updates and hoping to get the live stream back up and running I know it was down there for a while and then I brought it back up and uh, went back down again um, that's all uh, being worked on I'd like to keep it up and running I really do uh, but like I say it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work I mean especially when you're not uh, not able to keep up on it you know I just don't want to put something out there and um, expect you guys to run the channel I kind of want to you know be a major part of that and to uh, be there on the mic and uh, update information continuously and it's kind of hard when you're working uh, a day job that requests so much of your time and uh, but I got to pay the bills and uh, you know YouTube just doesn't put out enough money at the moment uh, for me to stick around uh, solely on that source of income here's a trimmer map a lot of activity in Northern California still once again and up near Portland these are uh, all trimmers uh, slow slip event movements occurring underneath the well the Cascadia subduction zone region um, you know we have seen this activity pick up within the last couple days uh, very possible this could have contributed to the 4.7 earthquake 4.6 down in uh, the Hollister region I mean we see this activity occurring uh, and then a couple days later we get that 4.6 there which is uh, just south of this region but you got to remember <coughs> These plates right here are sliding underneath the North American plate. You got the Pacific plate over here, the Cascadia subduction zone region, which is that area sliding underneath the North American plate. And it extends down from Northern California up through Oregon and Washington into British Columbia, Canada. So we got some slippage going on, indicative, obviously, of all these micro trimmers being detected with the very sensitive equipment that they use. Uh, in a confined high density region right there uh, definitely northern california so very possible all this pressure is being directed down on some very fragile areas down here to the south um, what we don't want to see is any kind of release of pressure back over here uh, where we could see uh, easily 9.0 earthquake um, strike the cascadia subduction zone so we'll uh, keep it positive hopefully and uh, hopefully it's 4.6 right here was just enough to uh, release some good pressure and uh, not cause any more uh, you know sensitive pressure in some of these regions here uh, of course this is here from the 12th we can go back to the real time that was just yesterday there I, I like to check the real time within the last three hours or so and uh, just a couple small ones being picked up in Northern California near Redding. 
So the activity, the slow slip events are continuing um, up to these up to this day. You can see Redding right there, and also up near uh, well, way up there in the mountains near Yakima, Washington. Uh, one popping off up there. But for now, the seismograph showing uh, everything's fairly quiet across the globe. Um, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on it, guys. Have a safe Monday out there, and I'll always be prepared. Have an earthquake plan. Have lots of food. That's the main thing. Food, water, medications, you know, the necessities, toilet paper even. You know, because a lot of times when you have disasters, uh, the toilet papers disappear from the uh, shelves in the store, if they even open. So definitely have, uh, it's always good to stock up, you know, just, just in case. You can never not be prepared. You just stock up. All right, guys, have a safe day out there. Talk at y'all later.